morning, JP. Good morning. Good morning, JP. Excellent. Pleasure to be here with you all this morning. I, I am a poet. Anybody, I asked the question before you all came in, so I ask it again. To you all, what is poetry? Very simple question. You, give your answer again, because uh, I like what you, how you started off. So my name is Tori, and I think poetry is where it comes from, your thoughts and your heart. Very good definition. Someone else. This is this is all about participation. Let me. Here's the first thing I want you all to understand. There is no right or wrong answer. Okay. Here's here's the first thing. What is your name again? Tori. Here's what Tori did. He said, "I think." Right. The beautiful part about what poetry does, it gives you the the ability to do that, to think. When you talk, because part of what you all need to get out of this, when you're speaking, you need to speak loud, articulate, so everyone in the room can hear everything you said. One of the things that does, it provides confidence. It makes the individual that's listening to you believe what you're saying, because you're saying it with confidence. Poetry is an expression of everything that's going on in our everyday life. We have a, a opportunity. Writing gives you the ability to sometimes put down on paper the things that you wouldn't normally say, right? Because a lot of times we think, oh, people are not going to understand what I'm thinking or understand what I'm feeling. But when you write it down, even when you express it to other people, most often than not, you know what really happens? More people understand you than, than you think. And it takes a lot of effort and power to be able to stand up in front of someone and express yourself. But we're all gonna have the opportunity today. Because the first thing, what has to happen before anyone gets up here and says anything? Writing. Writing. There has to be something to say, right? Right? I mean, tell me where you come from. What makes you the person you are? Whether that's your family, friends, whether those is the things that you think about, what makes you happy, what makes you sad? Where do you come from? But that's the freedom in writing, right? Everyone is not gonna agree with everything that you say, but that doesn't mean you do not say it. Right? You have to understand that your original thought is yours and it's okay to have that thought. So when you guys are writing, I don't want you to write in the mind frame of, oh, I, I need to write it like that so it to sound this way. I need you to write it in however you feel most comfortable expressing whatever thought you have. The one rule I have is the respect because I believe everybody's words are important. So when every person who stands up here and says anything, we are going to respect, have respect for every person who gets up here. We call that respect to mind. So let's put our hands together. I come from a home that is beautiful, that when I go to sleep, I can see the stars at night as they shine above my head. I place a place that is cool and filled with wonder. This is where I come from. I come from a place where children love to play, draw, sing, and express themselves. A great place that a great place that neighbors are always there for each other when something bad happens. Caring families that bake dessert, dinner, and treats to take care of families. This is my place of greatness and kindness. I come from a place far, far away from America, and that place is called China. I am a Chinese person is because I speak Chinese. I eat Chinese foods and I celebrate the ch Chinese holidays. But guess one thing that is surprising, I was born in New York. <laughs> I come from a place where you can see people embracing others in need. I come for, from a place where friendship and trust is very common. I come from a place where everyone will hear 
and honor their great ancestors. This place is a place of wonder. I come from a family that loves each other. You can hear a loving family. I come from a unique place as well like no other. You can see kids playing outside. I come, up, I come from a place where we love Sunday nights, playing ball with my dad. I come from a place, where do you come from? I come from Nigeria. What makes me unique is my accent. You can easily tell I'm foreign. I wore in my country a fall into the wrong hands. I'm a Nigerian. I am proud to be one. 53 years of a living country is good enough for me. Nigeria, you are free. We eat different, we talk different. I'm a full Nigerian. I come from a place that has support. I come from a place that plays a lot of sports. I come from a place that has what it needs. I come from a place that always succeeds. Already, let's put our hands together. They already know what to do, I like it. I come from a place that is the still city where crazy fans go running after we win. It snows in winter and fall and is hot in spring and summer. I come from a great family with five brothers and two sisters. I come from a place that is loving and loving I am Ben. Okay, as an example of, in his poem, he talked about several different areas of where he comes from, right? Made it very clear and plain to everybody. Did, did it take a long, big drawn out situation, did it? He was very quick and precise and to the point that we all understood what he talked about, right? But he was very clear in describing to us the situation and that's part of a job of a poet. Beautiful job, brother.